And welcome. Today we're going to be taking apart a Lenovo Legion Y530 gaming laptop. This particular uh, model is the 15 ICH. And to begin, we're going to remove that bottom case. And to do that, we're going to need a small Phillips bit. This is a 2.5. So we'll go ahead and flip it over and we'll go ahead and remove all of the screws on the bottom case. All right, once we have those screws out, we're gonna take a small bladed object, uh, such as the spudger, and just get in between the palm rest and the bottom case. So I've kind of cracked open the seam here a little bit, but you can see the separation of the two pieces. And we're just gonna go along both sides and try to pop this bottom cover off. And after you work that bottom cover loose, you can remove it and then you'll have access to the inside of the laptop. All right, so looks like the first thing we'll do here is remove the battery. So let's go ahead and remove those battery screws. Looks like there's about five of them. And once you get those screws removed, this type of connector, we're just gonna get a little bit more uh, room to maneuver here. And then we'll just kind of wiggle it out of that connector there and just pull straight out. but. Um, it's helpful to have the battery loose so you can get a little bit more of a access to it. That's how you remove the battery. And under the square cover here is your RAM. So we'll go ahead and pop the little metal cover off. And just try to do it gently so you don't bend it. Otherwise it might be kind of a pain to reinstall. And we'll go ahead and spread little bars and that will release our ram sticks. And just to kind of keep it in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the ram cover. All right, next up, we will go ahead and remove the SSD drive. So it's just one screw and then you can pull it out of the PCIe slot. And pretty much the same with the Wi-Fi card. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those antennas and it's also one screw to remove. And pull it out of the slot. All right, so it looks like the hard drive caddy here for the full 2.5 inch SATA drive has either not been used or removed. But if you do have a hard drive, a regular 2.5 inch hard drive, it'll be right here. And to remove it, we'll go ahead and just remove the four screws holding the caddy in place. And we'll go ahead and flip up that little retainer for the ribbon and remove the ribbon. And we can remove the caddy from the laptop and if your hard drive was installed, you would just have to remove the four hard drive screws from either side there. All right, so it looks like the in-out board here, or USB board, is connected to the bottom of the motherboard. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and just remove the screws.
and the you know un kind of untape that ribbon so it'll kind of pop up and since we'll be removing the fan assembly next we'll go ahead and push those connectors out of the slot so each of the fan connectors has a little bit of a tab on either side so it lets you get a grip on it to pull it straight out all right, so we got a pretty dirty fan assembly here. Uh, we've already unplugged it, so now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, remove the screws that are holding it in place. Actually, these screws are retained on the back, so you'll just have to loosen them until they start clicking, and then that way you'll know that they're loose. And the, the numbers here signify the order to tighten the heat sink back up if you're installing with new thermal paste, that way it tightens it down evenly. It doesn't matter uh, as far as removal. Okay, so we got those screws loose and we can easily pull that heat sink off of the motherboard. All right, so it looks like the cooling fans just have a couple more screws. So we'll go ahead and remove the cooling fans. All right, so at this point, we can go ahead and just start removing the rest of the ribbons that are connected to the motherboard. And the video cable here, if you're going to remove the display, you'll have to unhook it and kind of release it so it can pull through once you remove the display. And now we'll just go ahead and take off each one of these connectors. So some you can pull straight out, some have the little flip up type retainer. So just keep in mind there's a couple different types of connectors. Alright, very good. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the screws that are holding that motherboard in place including the black bracket here. sure if there's a screw underneath the RAM cover so I'm just going to give it kind of a wiggle. It looks like the motherboard is mostly loose and then there's going to be one more screw underneath this little Lenovo sticker. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Make sure the USB port board is loose and then we can gently lift up on the motherboard. And it looks like we have another ribbon on the bottom, so we're going to gently flip it over and then flip up on that retainer and pull out the, looks like the keyboard backlight. So just keep in mind there are a couple ribbons on the bottom of this motherboard, so once you have it loose, just be gentle and turn it over to remove those other two ribbons. And there we have it. We have the motherboard removed. All right, so we can have a good look here at the rest of the assembly. Uh, the keyboard is obviously riveted into the palm rest, so the keyboard is not replaceable unless you replace it with the palm rest as, a, as an assembly. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi antennas that are just kind of stuck on with some adhesive, so those will just peel off. And the pram battery here, we're gonna go ahead and remove that and stick it back onto the motherboard.
It is, looks like the only thing really left are the speakers and the touchpad as well. It does not seem like it's going to be removable. So if you do have a problem with your touchpad or uh, keyboard, just keep in mind you're probably going to need to replace that as an assembly. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move on to the display assembly and we're going to go ahead and remove it. So some of these can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're talking about the position that they need to be removed in. Uh, this particular one looks like we have a few screws here, but it does appear that the display should just come straight off of the palm rest once we have these screws removed. So let's check it out. We'll go ahead and remove the screws holding on the very bottom part of the hinge. I don't see anything else in the way of actually just pulling the display up and off. There's so a lot of laptops, if you're going to try to remove the display assembly from the palm rest, the hinges have to be in a certain position to clear um, some of the palm rest plastic. It looks like Lenovo have kind of done something a little different. So there's actually a little back cover piece that uh, came the rest of the way off with these two little black screws. So I'm assuming that's definitely got to come off for the display assembly to be removed. And once we have that off, we can see there's just two more screws holding on that display. Alright, so we have the screws removed and the only thing we need to look at here is pulling the video cable through the palm rest assembly. And there we go. Let's set that aside for now. Okay, so there is the palm rest assembly. And aside from the speakers and maybe the mouse buttons, um, the rest of it's pretty much not serviceable. So we are complete with that. All right, so this display assembly we're gonna leave complete, but I'll give you a quick rundown on disassembly. So like most laptops, you're gonna find the seam between the bezel and the back cover. And then you're just gonna take that, whatever flat tool you have, and just start popping that bezel up. It is held on by some pretty good adhesive at the bottom. But as you can see, once you have the bezel started to pull up, you can have access to the hinges and the screws or whatever that hold that LCD in there. So basically, just finish popping off the rest of the bezel and you'll have easy access to everything that's on the inside of the display. Usually, um, LCD screens that aren't touch and don't have a digitizer are pretty simple to take apart. Um, so if you're pretty confident. This one is pretty easy to take apart actually. They didn't use a ton of adhesive around the edge like some of the other manufacturers do. Um, but it, you know of course you always have the option of replacing your display assembly as a complete unit as well. Um, it's just up to you how far you want to go into it. But I would say all in all the display assembly is usually the easiest part um, on most laptops to take apart. So that is how you disassemble a Lenovo Legion Y530 gaming uh, laptop. In this particular model was the 15 ICH, but the entire Y530 line should be identical or very close. So if this video helped you or you found it informative, please like and subscribe. Thank you.